ambiguous cases. Solve triangle ABC if angle A equals to 35 degrees, side A equals to 9.3 centimeter and sign B is 12.5 centimeter. So let's make a rough sketch of our triangle and then we'll start solving for it, right? So we are given this kind of a condition where we know angle A is 35 degrees. Now this is just a rough sketch. Side A is 9.3. So in this case it is 9.3. Side B is 12.5. I should have drawn this longer. In any case, let me just write 12.5 here now. So I'm saying this is my vertex B and that happens to be vertex C. Now to start with, let us first test the value of B sine 35, right? And compare it with A. So what is B sine of 35 degrees? B is 12.5, so we get 12.5 sine of 35 degrees. Let's calculate this answer. So it is 12.5 times sine of 35. It gives us 7.169. So it is equal to 7 point, let us say, 17. Now as you can see, B sine 35 is 7.17 and is given to us that A is 9.3. So A is greater than 7.17. So we have A greater than B sine 35, correct? In that condition, we get two triangles, right? So it is a case of two triangles. So we are looking for two triangles in this case. So, <clears throat> well, this is not to the scale at all. One triangle will be something like I've drawn. The other one will be kind of like this. Okay, so let me just draw it like this, okay? So these are the two triangles which can be formed in this particular case. And let me call this point as B dash. Now let's solve for these two triangles. Now we'll apply sine law. From sine law we can first find the side AB. So since we have to find side AB, we'll write AB over, well let's first find <coughs> angle B, okay. So angle B, we'll write sine of angle B over 12.5 equals to sine of 35 degrees over 9.3. So from here we can find what sine B is. We say sine B is equals to 12.5 over 9.3 times sine of 35 degrees, right? Now let's use calculator to calculate this, 12.5 divided by 9.3 equals 2 and then we'll multiply that by sine of 35. So we get 0 0.7709, so that is 0 0.7709 degrees. It's so always good practice to write your answer first in four decimal places, right? So what is angle B equals to? Angle B will be sine inverse of 0 0.7709. And that gives us second operation sine inverse of the angle 50.43. So we get 50.43 degrees, right? So let's round our answers to one decimal place since most of the things are rounded to one decimal place here. So we can write 50.43 as the angle 50.4 for angle B, right? Now, since we know there are two triangles formed, so this side should be equal to 9.3. So we have an isosceles triangle, which is CBB dash, right? This triangle becomes isosceles. Since this side should be 9.3, right? Now, when it is isosceles, then both the angles should be same. So this angle will also be 50.4 for us, correct? So we got these two angles. Now we can find angle C. Angle C is equals to 180 degrees minus 50.4 minus 35 degrees, right? And that gives us the angle C, let me write down here, 180 minus 50.4 minus 35 equals to 
94.6 so we get 94.6 degrees so we know angle C is 94.6 degrees correct now so we know all these angles and angle we can also find angle A B dash C right so angle A B dash C that means for the second triangle this angle should be 180 minus 50.4 right which will be 180 minus 50.4 and that is equals to 129.6 degrees right so so we got these angles you can of course calculate this angle also which will be 180 minus 129.6 minus 35 so we'll, let's do that also 180 minus 35 minus 129.6 what do we get we get 15.4 degrees so that small angle which is angle a c b dash is equals to 15.4 degrees right now the side a b is remained so we and also a b dash first find a b so to find a b we can say a b over sine of angle c which is sine of 94.6 should be equal to we can use this ratio which is 9.3 over sine of 35 degrees so from here a b is equals to 9.3 divided by sine of 35 degrees times sine of 94.6 so we get 9.3 divided by sine of 35 times sine of 94.6 which is equal to 16.16 right so that gives us 16.16 which I'm rounding to 2 right so just rounding each side so we have approximation done rounded all our answers to one decimal place but in any case we found sine a b and lastly we can find what a b dash is right so to find a b dash we'll see a b dash over sine of this small angle which we calculate 15.4 degrees let's say 15.4 degrees is equal to now in this particular triangle what we should do is we can use sine well 9.3 over sine of 35 now from here we get a b dash equals to 9.3 over sine of 35 degrees times sine of 15.4 right so we get 9.3 divided by sine of 35 degrees times sine of 15.4 that gives us 4.3 so we get 4.3 right so these are all the dimensions for our triangles right so we can write down our answers and that is our answer is what did we get so we get angle we can write angle B equals to 50.41 which is also equals to angle C B dash B right and then we have angle C which is 94.6 right and then we have angle C B dash A which is equals to 180 minus 50.4 right 180 minus 50.4 where did we write that so one twenty nine point six right one twenty nine point six degrees and as far as the sides are concerned we know sides are let me write in a different ink we have a b equals to sixteen point two centimeters and then we have a b dash equals to four point three centimeters right so that becomes our answer I hope it's clear how to do the question but most important here is 
when you start with these cases, check what really the case is. And that check is made when you find, calculate B sine of angle, acute angle A, right? So we, in this particular case, we found that the given side A is greater than B sine 35. And therefore, there's possibility of two triangles. So we solve for both the triangles. Triangle ABC and triangle AB-C, right? And then we worked out all the values. So that is how it should be done. Thank you.